Welcome to Live, Life Inspired Views for Every Day. My name is Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul. Some of you might remember the original Andy Griffith shows, and some of you might know them from their reruns. But I always remember them as being so iconic as Sheriff Andy Taylor, his son Opie, Aunt Bee, along with Deputy Barney Fife, would sit on the porch on warm summer nights and talk about nothing. I don't often find those moments in, of calm in my world, do you? Maybe because I haven't put them there. My to-do list is rarely completed and I often double-check it just in case I forget an important task or a meeting. I just really don't sound very retired, do I? Hmm. Well, not long ago, I was talking about this kind of topic with my sister, Deb. She said she had recently discovered a cool little thing that played with the word mindful or mindful. According to the article she read, mindful, two words, is like the monkey brain, chatter and distraction. But mindful, one word, is attentive and aware. She and I agree that both could be good. Mindful, two words, can describe what happens when we immerse ourselves in new learning or inspiring topics. Just as mindful, one word, allows us to rest our mind, digest the chatter that has been bombarding us over a period of time. We can be nourished by both. So what happens when our mind full, two words, is full of worry, overwhelmed with responsibilities of our job, position, state of our country, political fears, trepidation about life for our children and our families? Each time I fly to Seattle to see our grandson and his family, it amazes me to look out the window of the plane and see the wee little earth below. We can barely see the roads, much less the cars driving on them. That perspective always makes me feel like the world is stopped, and with it the worries that seemed nearly unsurmountable from the vantage point of down there and now from the plane seem to have become minuscule just by looking down on the tiny world we left behind when we boarded the plane. Hmm. I talked about this with two different people this week whose minds were full and schedules were overwhelmed. People often refer to moments like this as being swallowed up, buried, swamped, or feeling helpless and unable to climb out of what feels like the abyss of despair as they face the responsibilities that have engulfed them. So how do we come to be mindful, one word, from mindful, two words? Do you remember the fairy tale Hansel and Gretel? These two children were taken into the forest and abandoned. Hansel left a trail of pebbles so he would be able to help he and his sister find their way back home. It worked, but they were taken there again the next day, and this time he left a trail of breadcrumbs. However, the birds ate the breadcrumbs, and they could not find their way back. After being captured by a wicked witch who intended to eat them, they did some problem-solving and figured out a way to outsmart the witch, and their lives were saved. The point of this story is that they did not give up. In the face of fear and uncertainty, they problem-solved. They did something, little pebble by little pebble. When they failed because they didn't anticipate the breadcrumbs idea not working, they tried another idea. Another way to look at it is that the pebbles held hope possibility for something good from to come out of the situation in all situations always look for the breadcrumbs or the pebbles of hope so when we are encumbered with things that overwhelm us when we are weary with worry or fear of the future when our minds are full look for one thing that you can do little things that make you feel you are taking steps to find your path through or look for the pebble or breadcrumb that might lead to another direction for you. Like General Mac Douglas MacArthur said, we are not retreating, we are advancing in another direction. So, look. Look for little things of goodness. Just looking for that good can bring you a sense of hope. So when you are overwhelmed, when your minds are full, be mindful. One word. To look down from the proverbial sky in the plane to gain perspective. As my dear Lily, our son's partner, said, It could be worse. You could be turning 15. <laughs> this week, on your bathroom mirror, write, 
Things could be worse. I could be turning 15. Then meet your day, your mountain of commitments, your heavy responsibilities with a smile. Join me next Monday for Live, life-inspired views for every day. I'm Chris Meyer, and I'm a curious soul.